All right, guys, we're back on the channel. What's going on? Devar with Carob Sensations here. Today, what I want to do is harvest out some of this sweet potato. Now, this is part two of the previous video that I did where I showed you how to grow sweet potatoes from store-bought tubers, create the slips, and then you add them in here. In this video, what I'm doing is I'm gonna harvest half this bed. This is a variety of sweet potato that I planted here, and I planted a purple variety here a little bit later. So this has reached maturity, and I wanna go ahead and get this out, and we'll see what we have. It's my first time growing these. It's our first time doing this, so your guess is as good as mine as far as what the harvest is gonna look like. We are using the Olay Galvanized Steel Raised Bed. That's what we're growing these in, and we're about to find out. Let's get rid of some of this foliage. That way we can see what we have under here. Okay, not bad, not bad. Little baby one. This is a nice one. Oh, look at our little worm trend here. Does that look? Yep, he's gonna stay in there. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. This is a nice one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Put that down. All right, now I could be wrong. There could be more sweet potatoes in here. Maybe I didn't go deep enough, but I think I got as many as I can. We took off all of the foliage here. Just gonna kind of let this die down. And then um, this can make for probably some good compost. But those are our sweet potatoes right there. Some big, some small. I think the biggest one was 
this guy right here, which is pretty good. This isn't, this isn't bad. I'm gonna bag all of these and have them sit for a little bit. It's not bad for a few months uh, worth of work, and it's the first one. Now, I didn't have these on any kind of irrigation system for too long. One reason why I wanna harvest everything out of here is so that I can redo the lines and also add this in line with the Dripworks irrigation system that we have for our grow towers where we're growing our leafy greens. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this bed in there so we'll be able to grow. But as far as the soil itself, it really, I watered it a lot, but I watered it by hand. But this type of soil that just breaks up, it really causes them to thrive. I'll leave the mix that I used below because I mix different things together, as well as the native soil that we have here, just so we can grow it. But this is, guys, this is my first time doing this, you know? If you have any tips or there's anything, leave, the, leave a comment below and let me know but I'm pretty happy with what we have here. Like I said, I only wanted to do half the bed because this half of the bed was planted about four months ago and I have about another month or so with the purple variety of sweet potatoes before we harvest them. So I'm gonna wait on those, but I've been eyeing these things for a while. Matter of fact, let's get a good shot here. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. If you're looking to get a bed like this, go ahead and check out Ole Gardens. I will leave a link below so you can get your hands on one of these galvanized steel raised beds. They work wonders in the garden and they're gonna last a very long time. And if you have any questions, like I said, leave it below. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we do other videos. Peace and love, and we'll catch you next time.